Good afternoon. Welcome and welcome back to Reflection and Prayer Time. We call it uh, Friday Reflection and Prayer Time. And thank you for joining us this afternoon. And thank you also for your continued support to this uh, social media ministry almost uh, more than uh, two years. And today it is uh, my joy and also honored to introduce uh, my own brother, Reverend uh, Paul Royapa. Uh, we are five of us, uh, four brothers and one sister, and I'm the oldest and Paul is the youngest in this culture. He's known as the baby brother. So um, we both, the oldest and the youngest, we serve uh, the Methodist movement or the Methodist uh, churches. He is uh, currently serving a Methodist church in India, in South India. It's called IMC, Indranagar Methodist Church, which has got about 600 uh, members. And um, this is uh, located in South India, a place called Bangalore, a very big uh, city in South India. Uh, he has been in um, the Lord's ministry for 31 years. He served um, as a Youth for Christ, which is an international organization. Some of us, we know about that. And uh, he served there for several years as Youth for Christ director. And then he went to Singapore with his family to do his Master of Divinity program. And he came back to India and he was ordained in the Methodist Church in India. And since then, he has been serving the Methodist Church in India for more than 20 years. But three years, um, he went as a missionary pastor to Oman, one of the Middle Eastern countries, where he had served for three years um, for the Oman um, Church. Um, it's a kind of, it's not a Methodist Church, but it's a kind of a Oman a government approved church and he was there for three years and last year uh, he came back to India to uh, continue to serve the Methodist Church in India and he is blessed with a beautiful family his uh, wife is Rachel and uh, they are blessed with the son Alan and he is uh, uh, exceptionally musically talented and we will hear a little piece of his mu music before I do the closing uh, prayer. Paul has uh, chosen a text. We are in the midst of many difficult moments and difficult times, not only in the United States, but all over the world. Almost more than three months, the war in Ukraine has been going on. And this week is a very difficult week for the people uh, in the United States because of the mass shooting in Texas uh, that has uh, victimized uh, more than 20 children and two adults and 17 are wounded. So the whole nation is uh, grieving the last uh, couple of days and the inflation is going up and uh, poverty continues to be a major factor. And uh, we are still not out of the woods with the pandemic. And uh, in the United States, I was told yesterday the number is again going up and uh, several places it has gone up by 50 percent in milwaukee and wisconsin it's uh, estimated about 35 percent it has gone up uh, new cases new deaths and uh, and new situations with pandemic it we started with coronavirus and now uh, it has uh, taken its own variation so we are in the midst of many difficult situations. So I have asked Paul to reflect upon uh, how we can continue to strengthen our faith and uh, be strong in our faith and uh, continue our faith journey in the midst of and in spite of difficult moments in our lives, in our families, in our communities, in the nation and even in the world. So Paul has uh, chosen a couple of verses from uh, First Peter chapter 5. Uh, some of us, we remember these verses, and you also see the 
uh, versus um, um, at the back of my screen. Um, so first uh, Peter chapter five, verses six and seven. Humble yourselves therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. This is the living word of God and let God's people respond by saying, thanks be to God. Paul? It's my uh, privilege to share God's word. I thank my brother, Reverend Sam, for the invitation. The topic that I have uh, chosen for this reflection is God is the source of help for the burdened people. God is the source of help for the burdened people. My brother just shared what the whole world is currently going through. Pandemic war, around 20 innocent children were slaughtered in Texas. We live in a world of turmoil. Dear friends, trouble comes to all of us in different forms, no matter how spiritual we are, often the deepest and most painful burdens are those that are not seen. You may be burdened as you are watching or listening. The apostle Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7, cast all your anxiety upon the Lord, for he cares for you. The psalmist says in Psalm 55, verse 22, cast your cares or burdens upon the Lord and he will sustain you. I want to share with you three things. How can we experience God's help when we are weary and burdened? Number one, our burdens. The word burden speaks of those things that pull us apart. Burdens represent life circumstances that weigh us down. Burdens come to worry us and create anxiety within us. We all have physical, emotional, and mental burdens, financial burdens. Whatever it is, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, come to me. All who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. These are the words of Jesus. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, I will give you rest. Dear friends, what is weighing you down? What is troubling your heart? What is troubling your mind? What is causing you to worry? The question is, how can we experience God's help? Number two, here the Apostle Peter says, cast all your anxiety upon the Lord. Cast all your burden upon the Lord. All your burden, all your anxiety. Where? Upon the Lord Jesus. The word cast is a sailor's term. It speaks of throwing an anchor overboard. What does the anchor do? Anchor gives stability, safety, and protection in the midst of a storm. Dear friends, an anchor is what we hold on to when we don't have the answers. Anchor is what we hold on to when we have tried and tried and no solution. An anchor is what we hold on to when everything seems hopeless. Are you burdened and weary? 
going through a difficult storm in your life. Dear friends, Christ is our anchor we need to hold on to. It is Christ who is our solid ground. It is Christ who's our security. That's what the Bible says. And Christ can carry us through our storms. He will take our cares and give us his peace. When storms of life come our way, Jesus is there to help us stay grounded and secure. All the things might not always go the way we have planned. We must trust that God's plans are higher than our plans. What is your burden? Just cast it upon the Lord Jesus. And number three, the apostle Peter says, cast all your anxiety upon the Lord, reason, because he cares for you. He cares for you. This is an awesome truth. The Lord cares for you no matter what we go through. The Lord Jesus cares for us. The Lord Jesus understands our sorrows. The Lord Jesus understands our limitations. All that we go through. God said in his word in Isaiah chapter 49 verse 16. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. These are the words of God. I have engraved you. Dear friends. Listen to the words of God. I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. When the stressful winds blow and you feel no one remembers you, I want to encourage you that the Lord does. The Lord remembers you always. You can share all your heartaches and problems with him because he cares for you and he will help you every step, every valley. Every mountain, every turn, every crossroad, every storm will be graced by his wonderful presence. You may have to walk through the storms of life. You may have to. But friends, you don't have to walk alone. The presence of the Lord will be your anchor. The presence of the Lord will be your anchor. Even you can't see God. You can't see. But he's still there. He's watching over you. He's guiding you. No matter what you are going through right now. No matter what your problem may be. No matter how bad your situation may look like. Be assured that Jesus cares for you. Be assured that God is with you. David said in Psalm 23, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. He is the source of your cal. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Hold on to God. Cast all your anxiety, burden, problem, worries upon the Lord. He cares for you. You will never be shaken. The Lord is with you. Amen. Thank you so Thank much, you, Paul, for those words of encouragement and courage because Christ is our anchor. This week, uh, we bring all of our pain, very unbearable pain. To Christ and when we cast our pain upon the anchor who is Jesus he becomes the source of uh, our help hope and healing 
not just this week, but even beyond. I want to uh, play um, the music of Alan, uh, my nephew, and Paul's son. And then we will close with a prayer of healing. Thank you, Alan, for reminding us that uh, our God is an awesome God. Let us pray. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Fall afresh on all your people and especially the people who are hurting so much that they may be healed and strengthened in mind, body, and spirit. May God enfold those people. May Christ embrace those people. May the Spirit of God surround those people, especially the community of Uvalde in Texas. Watch now, dear God, with those who work or watch or weep today and tonight. Please give your angels charge over those who are hurting with pain, sickness, terror. Tend your sick ones, O Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones. Shield the joyous. May the love of Christ continue to surround all of us as we go in peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, friends, for uh, joining uh, Paul and me this afternoon and God's blessings of health, hope and strength. God be with all of us till we meet again. Bye now.